Oh, <laughs> that's so strange. It says upcoming event. I'm not, it's not an upcoming event. Hold on a minute. There we go. Okay, I don't know why, for some reason, uh, those two streams you saw there, for some reason they say upcoming event. I clearly set them as um, one that starts immediately. I did not start, I, I did not launch them as um upcoming event. Very strange. It was not meant to happen, but it happened. So yeah. Um, that's that, and I'm, I basically got the PS2 today, well, I did, what am I saying? Um, yes, I do have two apps running. My IPU could actually handle two apps, which is very good, but the only app I need to close right now is this one. Then I go here, press OK. I was going to stream my whole, um, my, what's it called? Uh, I was going to, I was going to stream my gameplay but not on the PS4 on the phone and you'll probably be saying why and how am I gonna do it or well, why number one is because um, you know I want to show you you know my home screen and stuff and I don't always want to hold my phones facing to the um, TV here so um, I want to do it through remote play uh, remote play it can be laggy and it can yeah it, it because it does all this stuff over internet now my connection is very good because my PS4 is on wide on wide Wi-Fi, and um, it's th through the extender, which is very very good. I like that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna be, you know, I just wanted to do, I just wanted to test to see if I could do that. And uh, for some reason, I'm having trouble with the stream. Strange, because last stream that I had going, which was actually showing up on YouTube, um, you you guys saw a screen capture. It was like a I was streaming my my screen. And for some weird reason, uh, it just, I don't know, I don't know what happened. Like, I was looking at my stream while streaming at the same time. Uh, and on stream playback, I saw, what the hell? Why is it loading like that? That means, that means the stream stopped. So, yeah, there was something wrong with the uh, Wi-Fi streaming there, but yeah. So now that it's all good now, um, shouldn't really do that anymore. Actually, wait, I wanted to test, um... Wait, first thing, I need to show you guys, oh yeah, uh, if you're probably wondering why I never started another one straight, um, another another stream straight away after the one that says uh, uh, upcoming event, well, my phone basically, you know, you know, you know, you know what my phone does, it goes too hot, and it just ends up dying, and now my phone is on charge, so I'm going to have to show you guys this quick, but anyway, um, I'm going to show you this quickly, oh, no, I didn't mean to connect to internet, I meant... To connect to, I mean, meant to turn the flash on. There we go. All right, turn the phone off so we can save a little more battery. So, oops. So, what's it called? Um, you guys, yes, the phone is always gonna be out of focus. There we are. So, um, this is the PS2 Slim. So obviously, been sat there now. Uh, I do have just just one issue: the motor, the motor that spins the disc, uh, the disc spinner motor. It's not replaceable. So to actually replace the mower, you have to buy a whole new DVD drive, and uh, yeah, they're still going for pretty expensive now. They're not so expensive since this is a launch model PS2, and people think PS2 is very old now. But if you're looking to buy replacements, which I obviously am, uh, then yeah, I might show you guys me uh, might live stream it. I might make a video. I don't know of me installing the new disk drive if I if I ever get the disk drive. Now obviously. Um, I can't stream from other can I? I told you guys exactly why. If you guys don't know, if you guys will forget or something like something like that, or if you guys are new or something, basically what happened was my other account um, got two copyright strikes. So there was one copyright strike from a video, and the other one was from a live stream. Um, basically, I deleted those two because they were they were delete they were de they were taken down anyway. So nobody nobody no, not even me could even see them. So I deleted them anyways, and I still can't live stream from my other account. If I could live stream from my other account right now, I'd love to. That would be very, very good. So that's basically what happened. Um, that's why I can't stream from my other account, but I love to. I would love to stream from my other account because this is the exact reason why I got the streaming app to stream it on my other account, not this account. But because I can't stream from my other account, for now I have to stream from this this account when I can get my other account back with streaming again. So, 
That's basically what happened. Now, this PS2, um, I don't know how they even put um, the motor to against the metal. Did they, did, it looks like it was welded together, but I don't know. Because, like, what's it called? Um, that, mo that motor is, like, on, on a tiny motherboard. I just want to get the motor off and then just replace the motor. Because the motor, um, that's, that's, that's the main problem right now. Just the motor. And I know why, because I've been using this thing for a long time, and the carbon brushes has basically gone. So the carbon brushes on the motor has basically gone. Um, the motor still obviously spins the disc, but the only the only problem it's doing is it's not spinning the disc what speed is meant to be spin. It rather can't spin the disc at all sometimes, or what it does is it spins the disc too fast. That, that means the laser is going to have issues, and the startup screen is going to be way longer which was earlier on, yes it was, because I put in I put in a CD, and uh, it read the CD, it was do it doing some weird screaming, it wasn't like, like literal screaming, it would sound like the motor was scratching against like metal or something, it was, it was very very high pitched sound, coming from the, the laser or the motor, I don't know what it was, and then I heard the lens, uh, the lens of the laser kind of clicking there, because the laser was like, hold on, something's going on wrong here, and also, another thing, Another horrible thing that happened today was when I was reading the CD when it was in vertical mode. Um, it spanned it was spinning the disc too fast, the motor. And what's it called? Um, I fit I, I took I took the disc out because I didn't want it to burn out or anything. So I took I took out the disc. Then I smelt I smelt the same strange smell. Now that smell that I smelt from the disc drive, I recognise the smell, and that's the smell from the laser so basically what it did was the laser would go full full power and the diode would basically burn out uh, so I, I kind of saved the diode from burning out so it still reads but the only thing is the only issue I'm the only one issue I'm having is just the motor not spinning the disc correctly at the speed so yeah you know um, I'm pretty sure there's a little, a little bit it was reading only only for a few seconds you know the motor was at that say at that speed uh, when I was reading the CD, only for like five seconds, and after that, it just it start the laser started clicking, it started going full speed. Yeah, it, it wasn't good. And that CD is not a PS2 game; it was actually just a music CD. So, if you're wondering, that's what it was. So, um, yeah, I'm just planning on trying to look to fix it. But anyway, what did they even use back in the day? Did they use hot glue? Did they what kind of glue did they use to put the motor onto the piece of metal? Because I really want to know myself. I want to know how exactly they did it and how, if I want to remove them or how would I do it. Well, basically, when I'm thinking, I, pro I could probably get a heat gun probably just kind of heat up the back a little bit. Or the bottom. That might kind of save it a little bit. But I don't know if that would. Um, I don't know if I could take the motor off then. But I don't know about that, that little gold ring piece, if I could take that off. And maybe that maybe that's holding the motor on. I don't know. Maybe that's just probably for the for the bearing of the motor. I have no clue. Um, but yeah, I mean, because since this is a launch model PS2, luckily I got a launch model. Um, because before I got the launch model, I did not have an idea they even existed. I didn't know. I didn't even discover this disk drive type be be before this launch model was even existed. Um, well, by me, I mean, I mean, basically what I mean is before I discovered the launch model. Um, but yeah, I actually like the launch model because of the parts it uses. Um, but anyway, the graphics aren't really the best because I know what chip is running off. It's running off a motion engine. I think it's called EE plus GS, which basically means a motion engine plus graphics synthesizer. Now, that probably tells me it's, it, could be an, it could be the very first APU in a console. If that is the case, holy crap, I was playing on an APU the whole time. Um... But if that wasn't the case, then, oh, oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I thought maybe PS2 might have APU, or maybe it might not have an APU. I don't know. But yeah, um, so you know, off stream, I was just, yeah, testing stuff with the PS2. And um, yeah, laser obviously works, it's just the motor is faulty, because when Sony made the launch models for the PS2 uh, slim, back all the way back in 2004 yes i did discover what year it was as well cuz i think i searched up the year the launch model came out obviously I, if i was around back then then i would, probably would have known but yeah all those years ago that was like what 16 years ago this this ps2 slim is 16 years old d depending on what 
month it came out. If it came out in April, uh, pro yeah, I guess it would have been 16 years by now, but, um, I don't know what month it came out, but I know for a fact it came out in, back in 2004, so if it did that, that means GEA San Andreas has to be out with it. Or, I mean, obviously, yeah. But, right now, I, I play GEA San Andreas from that PS2, and yes, that PS2 is quite a new model. This is actually the latest one I have, really. I don't have I don't have a PS2 Slim any later than that. Um, if I did, then I would obviously use it, and I'll show you guys, and I would obviously clean the parts. But what I'm thinking to do with uh, right now with this 16 year old PS2, that's if that's if it even is 16. Um, basically, I'm just going to try to just yeah clean the fan with a brush because a brush really does help. If you want to clean a fan. You know, something like a jet fan, which you can't really clean with, like, a lotion tissue or anything. Nothing like the PS, the PS3 the PS or PS4's jet fan. Something like a, you know, like a, a laptop jet fan or some... I'm, what I mean by jet fan, guys, if you don't know, I mean blower fan. So I know, like, a lot, lots of laptops use it. And lots of, um, lots of consoles of nowadays use it as well. Especially the PS5. Wow, crazy. So yeah, um, in the PS2 Slim, they started using laptop fans. Um, PS2 Fat, um, they used CPU um, fans for from PCs, you know. Uh, but yeah, I like how on the PS2 Fat, if I would install the hard drive, put Windows and stuff, well, I'd probably do my work on there, which is very good. Rather than always playing video games all the time, but anyways. Um, that was that was very good stuff to hear about back in the day, you know. Uh, you can't deal with the Slim, because it's meant to be a Slim, and um, yeah. So yeah, but I still don't understand why the very old PS2 Slims, so Slims such as this one, obviously I get that this Slim is a launch model, but the Slims that came af after that, they still had the motherboard. So look, if I show you guys now, let me open the lid. So, what I mean is, uh, if I could bring this charge a little more close, that'd be nice. Unplug the heater. This heater isn't on, by the way, so it's good to go. Anyways... Heat, uh, stop limiting my reachability. Heat a plug. Anyways, so what I mean by um, the motherboard being beneath the disk drive, that could that, that could generate a little bit more heat. So what they did was, you see, in this this DVD drive here, basically what they did was, you see, if you see the if you see shiny part under your disk drive, like this whole thing is like reflective and stuff. That means that your disk drive has a motherboard underneath it and more heat could be generated. So what they did was with, with these newer models here, but obviously there's a disk in it, but if I take out the disk, I'll show you the difference. So obviously what they did was, they they eliminated the, the motherboard somehow. You could see, if you see a black behind the disk drive, or yeah, yeah, behind the disk drive, you could see that there's no motherboard, yeah? The motherboard is always going to be on that side there, not on the disk drive side, in these newer models. But in the older models, yes, there was the motherboard there. So, that's basically the difference um, to know is to see what model of PS2 you have. And, um, yeah, you can tell, basically. Wow, I like that. This this game also runs quite stably on the now, because you, cause you can see it's not making a sound when it's spinning. It's not scratching anything. Very good stuff to hear, guys, and see. So yeah, um, if you want better graphics, then go with this model of PS2 because this PS2 is always gonna have better graphics, and it's gonna have more clear graphics. So you, so if you wanna look in the distance somewhere, you'll see the di distance a lot more clearer. Obviously, depending on what chip, um, no, not not what chip, yeah, what chip you're using, and what cable you're using. If you're using AV cables, which is designed for this PS2, um. Basically, uh, I'd recommend to use um, SCART or, yeah, AV with SCART because, what's it called? AV cables are recommended for this one. This one, YPPR, because this thing doesn't have, this thing doesn't downgrade its performance with YPPR. It does a very good job with it. Uh, this one over here, when it's on YPPR, um, basically what it does is, you can see, like, you, you see how all the stuff on the screen are not like wiggling like a v like a VHS tape would like make it wiggly a, l a little bit yeah uh, basically what I mean is so I'm just gonna demonstrate with this flash phone here uh, so say if what's it called um, so obviously with the AV cables it's gonna be straight like that nothing nothing's gonna be moving but 
with the Wi-Fi PR cables, it's just gonna be wiggly. You know, it's it, the words and everything on the screen, the whole the whole display of the screen of the PS2 is just gonna be wiggling. You know, that's not that's not meant to be happening. Now that tells me that one of the chips are struggling with the video signal. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, and the motion engine chip gets a lot hotter in this PS2 because, um. The heatsink is it's got a very wide heatsink, which is I like the more heating you have the better because you have more cooling, right? And you have an emotion engine. Now if you want a PS2 with the emotion engine and a good disk drive, well a disk drive that let let's just say runs on rods, go go with this one. But as you can see the difference though, if your PS2 is kinda like a hybrid and it's got a what I mean by hybrid, so it's got a different laser, so the laser they, they use in the PS2 disk drive nowadays, but it's still got the motherboard behind it. Um, basically what I mean is the laser that, that's in this PS2, not in that PS2. So yeah, you, could, you can't see the difference here, not many people know this, but yeah. Just showing you guys, just letting you guys know, that that laser right there, is not going to be the same as in this one. You can probably put this disk drive in this PS2, but, um, yeah, I don't know. So I just prefer, um, a nice laser that runs on rods, and that has a good motor. So... The Wim Gear motor in this PS2 is almost like the same motor, the Wim Gear motor that's in this PlayStation 4 system. Very good stuff to hear. But however, uh, later on with the uh, later Sony disk drives, they used um, bigger. They used the um, the thicker and bigger step step motor basically. So it's the um, very strong Wim Gear motor basically. Um, now. What that was for was because uh, with the small worm gear motors, with the regular ones, um, they because how Sony did it, because Sony knew what they were doing back then, you know, um, they they put the little arm on the motor, they they screwed it too um, too much on there, and uh, basically um, some people's uh, PS2 disc drives would just literally just buzz all the time. And that, and that buzzing was the motor uh, worm gear motor trying to move the laser around, and it can't do that because. The, there's rather no lubrication, or there's no, there's no, um, the thing is too tight on there. So, I would say, uh, if you work at Sony back in the days with the PS2, and you, you took over the disk drive job, make sure to always kind of unscrew a little bit of the, um, of the arm on the, on the laser. You see the little arm, it, without, without the arm, the laser can't move around. With that arm, the laser can move around because the arm is attached. Well, the arm is just going, it just, it's just, it just kind of puts pressure on there, so then the laser can move around. Without the arm, the laser is just gonna sit there and it's not gonna move around. With it, it's gonna move around everywhere. Or it's just gonna move around left and right or back and forth. I don't know. So yeah, um, I do, um, I do like these disc drives, obviously. But if you want something like um on the go. Not completely on go, but if you got a, a PS2 screen with you, you could take this to your friend's house or somewhere, and um, plug it in the socket. Obviously, because this thing, these things require plugging in the socket. So, oh shit, my fuck, my my wire here basically kind of limited, and it basically, yeah. So, um, oh god, go horizontal. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to lock my phone's orientation. I don't know what's, I don't know why my battery's not getting that hot. Anyways, if you want something just as good as a PS2 Fat, but kind of on the go, uh, you could take this console. This console for me is a launch unit, is SPCH 7003. It's a very good um, model, but the only thing is I can't get to the, the 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 main chip on the motherboard, the Emotion Engine, because that chip, um, yeah, I don't know who repaired it last, but they must have overclocked or something, because the temperature chip. In this PS2 Slim, the launch model, obviously, um, for some reason, um, I could feel a bunch of heat going out the back, and I could feel a bunch of heat on the plastic as well. The fan's not doing its job that well. So the temperature chip uh, thinks, oh yeah, the console's cooling just fine, right? But then, um, after half an hour, let's just say, because I know half an hour is like th 30, min 30 minutes is half an hour. So after half an hour, the fan goes... I guess almost full speed. So the fan basically is doing its job now. So the, so the temperature chip knows what's going on now, after half an hour, and basically goes to full speed. But I still feel hot air, hot um, temperature on the plastic, and obviously with the exhaust. Um, I don't feel the plastic getting cold one bit. So yeah, 
the temperature chip wasn't really the best back in the days with these consoles, but it did its job. Now, obviously, with this console, the temperature chip was a lot better. I wanted a um, PS2 or something like that with um, something like an Xbox 360 fat or you know with the PS4 with uh, if the if the if the graphics chip or the CPU chip gets too hot or the, let's just say the APU chip because it's PS4 gets too hot and then the and then there's and then there's the temperature chip built rather into the CPU bit of the APU or into the or, or just a separate chip on an, on the, another separate chip on the motherboard. And that chip basically controls the amount of current going into the fan to cool the console down. That current, if there's a lot of current going into the fan, a lot of voltage, but the fan could go to high speed basically, it makes the speed go higher and higher every single time. And if the APU feels, yeah, it's cooling and it's got good performance, performance, then the 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 APU would tell the um, temperature chip that controls the fan speed to go to basically... Um, Lower, lower the amount of voltage and current going into the fan. But basically, that's how the fan calms down. This kind of circuit wasn't really back in the days of these two <laughs> PS2s, but it when it was kind of in this one as well. Chip at higher temperatures, it would, it would know what the hell was going on. Uh, so yeah, PS3 is kind of like the PS2 basically, with shitty graphics on the RSX GPU chip. However, the Xbox 360 was so much better, honestly, man. Like it had a temperature chip right in the power button and um wow honestly if the connectors were clean it would know what temperature it was if the connection was bad or anything i think it would make the connect and um, the um, fans go to full speed even though the gpu and cpu were cooling very good now i don't know why i'm running for three frames per second or even two frames i shouldn't be running that low because my um thing here yeah, um, probably not gonna be able to see, stream tomorrow because I'm, I'm gonna be very, very busy tomorrow. That's that really depends. Uh, missed out on a lot of schoolwork, so <laughs> gonna see what they have to say here. But yeah, wait, is that doing background blur? That's how I like it. Autofocus. Uh, the iPhone's camera itself doesn't really like to autofocus much. But anyway, yeah. So this PS2 really, um. If you want to take a slim on the go, then always make sure you're cooling fan. Everything is clean on the console, um, including the thermal pads. And, yeah. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, the um, Sony... For some reason... Um, no, not Sony. The the consoles... Uh, for some reason, they don't really work with thermal paste. And obviously, thermal paste is, is a good solution. Because nowadays, we have... We have um, liquid metal which is very very good it's better stuff than thermal paste but if you're not using your ps2 in a while with liquid metal inside of it then it's gonna dry up and it's good if you try to scrape it off the, your motion engine chip is just gonna get damaged along with the heatsink now i've seen somebody do that on an xbox one uh on the i think it was the copper heatsink yeah the copper heatsink of the xbox one but I'm just thinking, even though, you know, these things have the aluminum or aluminium, I don't know how to say them, um, heat sinks, I don't know how they're going to do, I think they're probably going to do, probably worse or better, I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, even though copper heat sinks may not look that good, they should still do good, so, yeah, um, I would just, if I was, um, if this thing would actually let me open it, like, completely the whole thing, get into the motherboard, then I would definitely love to clean and probably even replace that thermal pad. So I'd clean the, the chip and heatsink. Because I know these PS2s over time. Even after two months of you. Let's just say a month or two two months. Um, when when you play a game that would cause a lot of graphics. The chip gets too hot. And like that. Chip basically produces steam. In, be, between the, the chip and the, and the thermal pad. And... Um, yeah, and uh, basically what happens then is when you t when you take apart your um, console, you're like, how is this so easy? Like, how how, how can we take the thermal pad off the that chip so easily? Then you see, why is there like why is there random like water on the um chip? Well, it's because the chip produced um steam because it it got too hot because the temperature chip wasn't doing its job that much. That's what I've noticed with this. I don't know if the same thing happens with that. I think with the PS2 Fat it was a little bit different. But I think I think it was with the PS2 Fat, because I don't really use it that much. But I play very good games on it. 
basically the chip would obviously produce the um, steam and the steam would dry up and then yeah it would create like a little water kind of residue there and then it would just yeah wouldn't wouldn't really look like this so I cleaned that off the chip I don't know how it's gonna do now uh, I haven't really looked at it in a long time so yeah but anyways um, I do always try to super cool it or let's just yeah yeah super cool it uh, by putting this by putting the little adapter for the hard drive at the back of the PS2 and um, yeah <laughs> Only thing is that software doesn't really want to work with a hard drive because I don't have free MacBook memory card. If I had free MacBook memory card, then maybe yeah, and they are very very cheap to buy. You could buy them basically any website. Depends if if they're on for sale on that website. I don't know if they're on for sale on Amazon, but they are definitely on for sale on eBay. Um, I want to get like a nice high high quality one, you know. What the heck? Why is there random dust dust bunny chilling over there? Look at that! I found a random dust bunny, guys. You guys see that? That's the maximum I can zoom. Let me know if you guys can see that, because I'm 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 running like a few frames. I'm not don't know why I'm not running high the highest frames. I'm gonna try to fix this issue, but if I can't fix it, well, oh well. Anyways, uh, I want to know if I could change, what if I change my frames per second to 60? Would that be good? Let me just try it guys, hold on, give me a second. Streaming, frames, let's make it, okay, let's just go down to 24, let's see if that is any good. Am I still alive? I'm not sure. Right, let's see with 24 frames. You know my, um... Oh, there we go, now it's lighting up. My PS5 had a little, um, what's it called? Screensaver thing. Uh, hmm. Still running that low frames. Let's, let's, let's take it even more down to, um, 15 frames. Because 15 frames is 15 frames. Let's go and see if that's... Let's see about 15 frames. Is that good? Okay, I was kind of getting frames there. Okay, now I'm on two, two to three frames. Good. Okay, back to one, back to three. Okay, I'm getting a little bit higher frames, which is good. What if I take my kilobits um a little more lower? Something like seven seven hundred kilobits. Is that good now? What if I just take it all the way to the max with um? So many kilobits per second, and I'm talking about four thousand eight hundred, four million eight thousand. Let's see. Is that is that good? It should be good. Oh, I was just getting high frames. Okay, so I guess the more kilobits, the more frames. What if I decrease my stream quality? I know this is not going to be good stuff, but if I have to do it, I just want I just want good frames. So I'm going to put it back to 30 frames. Let's okay. Wait, hold on, I want to put it back to 60. Now, okay, not good because I'm running. Um, let's let's go to put put it back to 30. 30 frames. There. We go. Uh, now let's put it the resolution. 360p. Akino, uh, 10, 10, <clears throat> 1080p. How is 1080p going? This should be good. I'm actually gonna test to see if 1080p is actually streaming on this Wi Fi because I want to know myself. Let's put the killer bits back down. So I've got full quality going here, but I just need to put my um, thing, my killer bits back down. I don't want to always have it this high. Put it at 2,500 kilobits. Now let's see. Still running that many frames, but it should still be good because, what's it called? I want to just smooth out my frames. <clears throat> have them running very, very nicely. You know? Because obviously the phone's not doing that, its job that well, but you can clearly see it's um 
every single light's blinking on this. Not not every single light, except from the power light, but yeah. Uh, so we're on YouTube right now. Let's go ahead, go to this stream. Is it ten streaming in 1080p? Doesn't say HD, but it should be streaming in 1080p. Oh, what the hell? Stopped. Guys, you there? Okay, 720p, because that's what it was really as. <laughs> oh, yes. So basically, it re refreshes the stream. <clears throat> Don't know why I'm running very low frames, guys. I'm not meant to be running that low. <sighs> Put it back to 720. But anyways, guys, um, <clears throat> what's it called? So, <clears throat> sorry about that. I just need to um somehow find a way to just stay at solid 30 frames because that's that's what I'm meant to stay at, you know. 60 frames is gonna be way too smooth for this, but yeah. Um, I don't really need it to be that smooth anyway. I just want I just want my frames, you know. You can see how low I'm running them. They just run, it's going frame by frame and it's not meant to do that. It's meant to be just smooth 30 frames. And it's not staying as 30 frames. So I'm going to probably look at a, a video right now. <sighs> Why does it think my other li my other live stream is still live? Look at this. It thinks my other live stream, my my streaming screen thing, my my screen capture is still live. I'm not live anymore with that. I'm only live with that one. Anyways, <laughs> let's just go ahead and put the phone here for a minute, along with the other phone. Let's just um. It's my um. Oh, I really need toilet, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me just put the phone here, like that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I should not be running frame by frame. I don't know what's going on here. I should be running at least 14 or 15 frames. Or even 10, 10 frames for me is fine. But it, I'm not supposed to be running very low. F what the fuck? Is that dust? What is that? The fuck? Hmm. Anyway, um, I think my kilobits per second is to do with that, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. What if we put my um? See what else is there? What what else is there? Well, let's see. There is let's go to streaming. So there is um, audio quality low. Camera settings. How do I? Okay, stabilization mode. What does this do? Video should not be stabilized. Auto. Would it tell me how much um? Would it tell me how much? What's it called? Anyway, 
But anyway, um, it should tell me how much kilobits per second is gonna take. What about um, autofocus? Doesn't tell me anything. Uh, exposure maybe? Nope. Doesn't tell me anything about um, any kilobits. Uh, let's go to camera settings. No, I was just on that. Hold on a minute. Um, advanced settings. I know what this is about. Um, setting chart changes the way of the connection to custom RTMP servers. Some servers require FC publish to be send after initial connection. I'm not sure what that means, but, um, it's just going to have it disabled right now. Just, just for now. Or I could have it on just in case I could stream on my other account. If that if that is, then I'd definitely love to. So yeah. Oh look, I just noticed the box with my for my other PS2 loser. Um. Okay. So what's it called? Um. Audio quality is gonna be low because it takes less, which is good. And I could have it's very high, but that's gonna take a lot of kilobits. So just have it as low because why not? Um. Let's let's put this at three sixty p. Let's let's see how this does. It's very low resolution, but I just want to know myself: is this going to be good? Let's take a look. This is good or not? Ah, uh, downgrades. It it puts bars on the side, just just like my camera. <sighs> That's not good. So, um, for some reason it puts the little bars there. Because obviously it's a lower resolution. And I get that. So it puts the bars there, obviously. It's not really meant to do that, but yeah. It does it anyway. But yeah, um, that's, that's, that's through 60p. How much frames is it taking? Oh, it's actually increasing the frames. If I don't talk, then maybe my frames are going to be good. Wow, my frames are actually staying up. Oh, shit. The, um, I kind of stepped on the wire there. My phone's charging cable. So why am I still running up one frame? What's it called? <laughs> Let's go to streaming. Um, kilobits. Now, if I put my kilobits, that's the maximum or close to max. What is it gonna do? Okay, some reason um the frames per second there, they're not really they are running a little bit more lower, but they are still going high but lower at the same time. So let's just go back here and put my killer bits back to uh, that's actually put the killer bits to to the to the lowest that possibly they, they can go. Seven hundred killer bits per second. Now let's see how this is doing. Cause my frames per second should also be good. Oh. Come on, I'm supposed to be running good frames, not bad frames. Could be the connection with my extender. Let's put my extend let's just put my um phone and stuff over here with my flash phone as well. See how this does. Please stay good. There we go. <laughs> 
Still running frame by frame. Don't know what's going on. <sighs> but yeah. How many frames are we running? Four to eight frames. That's not not bad. I'll say that's that's okay. Yeah, my frames are actually going higher. That's good. That's good. 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 Okay, that's good stuff. So my frames are going pretty high, which is very, very good. I like that. But yeah, let's just take this straw out here. Let's just wave it in the camera. How many frames a second am I getting? I I want to get smoother frames, but like, what's it called? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not really getting the smoothest frames here. So let's just put the straw back. <laughs> so what now, guys? Well, um, I feel like showing my uh, PS2 laser to you guys. But anyway, um. Might put my uh, stream thingy back to um, what it was. <laughs> oh shit, my phone's gonna fall. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> what's it called? Let's go to streaming. Uh, 360p, let's put that back to 720, because that's what it's supposed to be. It's running a little higher frames now, which is good. You know. But yeah, I could put it as, at 1080p, but I don't know what's that going to do. <laughs> so I've, not, I've never really did it before, I don't think, so... I like how the um, calibers per second are low, and the frames per second are getting high, which is good. It's, it's exactly what I need. You can see how smooth it is now. It's not going like choppy, like it's not. At least it's not going like this. You know. Yeah, so that's really the frames per second. Um, that's the only way to fix that. I'm not sure what calibers per second do. I think there's something to do with like refresh, um, refresh rate or something like that. But ten frames a second is 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 good enough for me anyway. Um, you know, if I could go back to th at least twenty something frames, that that would be even better. Cause I'll be able to run higher frames. But as you can see, yes, I am. There is. You know, console connected. Now let's just put my stream. Uh, let's just go back. How many frames am I going to be running now? Oh, I'm, I'm running higher frames. I just backed out of it, of, of the um, thing. I'm running 12 frames now. I am dropping frames a little bit, but... Should still be at 720, right? Gonna like the stream because, yeah, why not? So, no one's really chatting, but, yeah, whatever. Um... Somebody was chatting, yeah. And I mean chatting in, like, the comments. Just saying stuff. But anyway, um, I'd love to see, um, to show you guys me putting in the new laser. On the, well, not just the new laser, I mean the, the whole new DVD drive. Because a new DVD drive, you know, you're basically replacing it. The, with, with the old one, that's basically what, re that's basically what replacing means. Now, uh, let's go ahead. Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I wasn't going to show you the laser. Well, wow. uh, the laser still over there. Now, what? Okay, let me let me tell you what happened. So first, you know how the problem actually happened on this launch PSU Slim. There was um, when I took out. I was in the middle of playing Lego Batman One. I was like in a level, and uh, obviously I was playing it on the PSU downstairs on PSU Slim, the launch model downstairs, and um, I was obviously playing it through a HDMI adapter. So you know, it was like a it was like a SCART. 
to HDMI adapter. If you're wondering how the hell did I get the signal, well, I have this like little AV to SCART thing, and I plug in the, I plug in my AV cable through there, then I get my signal, and um, I plug the SCART into the HDMI adapter, so that basically converts it into H into the same the same signal, the same AV signal, but to just to a HDMI connection, and then through there. I don't know why, but the the adapter, or was it, or I think it's called the converter. The converter itself has a little cooling fan. That's very nice. That means that mm, any f any frames or anything, performance-wise, is good, keeping cool. That's very good to hear. Now, if it does use thermal paste, I will replace the thermal paste right now. Um, I might have the little adapter here somewhere. I might be in a different room. I'm actually don't know. Might be in the cupboard somewhere. <laughs> Anyways, though. Now cooling fans actually a, a little uh, CPU fan inside of there. You know what those PCs use. But anyway, it hasn't got the blower fan. If I had the blower fan, it would be pretty nice. So yeah, what's it called? And I mean by the little CPU fans, I mean this fan. Hold on, let me show you guys. You can see the little cooling fan in that little thing over there. Yeah, see the little cooling fan. Let me get this out the way. You, you you could see the little cooling fan on that, right? Yeah, that is that is the kind of cooling fan I mean. So it's not a jet fan, it's a CPU fan. That's basically what CPU fan looks like. If you haven't seen one before, Let's put this back down like that. Yeah, this is meant to be one of those adapter things. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I was using something something like this, but it just had a little cooling fan in it. But yeah, instead of having an AV signal, I had a SCART signal, and it goes to a HDMI. Female, uh, connector. So yeah, um, that's that, and um, yeah. So let me carry on. So then, uh, I I I was like, okay, let's just mess around with it just a little bit, just 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 a little bit during my game of Lego Batman One. Uh, basically in the middle of the level, I didn't pause the game. I can't remember if I did. I don't think I did pause the game. I don't think I did. Then I just I I just did this. Took out my disc, and for some reason. This motor, the one that spins the disc, this was still spinning. This was still spinning like that. The laser obviously was on that same side. But this motor was still spinning. You see see that motor spinning? It was still spinning. And I was like, what's going on? It was still still spinning at the same as what it does when it's spinning the game on the DVD ROM disc. Then I was like, okay, that's not meant that's not meant to be doing that. That means it's faulty then, you know? The laser in the, the laser was not faulty one bit. But the motor, the disc spindle motor, which is this thing, which holds the disc and actually spins the disc itself, um, yeah, that's basically faulty. I can't replace it because I was playing it on a PS2 launch system. It was on the Slim, and it was a 7003 model, which was actually the launch model for here, and obviously other other countries and stuff. So then I was like, okay, what is going on here? It's not meant to do that. Then I put the game back inside, close the lid, open it again, and I think it was doing the same thing, you know? Then turn the PS2 off. Mm, then I basically don't know, can't remember if I carried on my game or not. But yeah, that was like before that I turned the PS2 off. Then obviously can't remember what happened. Then I turned my PS2 off, and then I took took off the casing, the whole the system together. Um, just just the plastic bit, you know, just what just what you, what you see from the outside. Took it off, and I just yeah mess mess just mess, mess messed around with the disk drive a bit. It was reading stuff, <laughs> and then. For some odd reason, I was like, hold on a minute, something isn't right here. So then I spanned the disc, the DVD ROM disc, to 100% speed. Then I was like, something really isn't wrong here. And then I thought, maybe it was a bad laser, so let's let's replace the laser. But but um, when the laser was arriving, I think, I did a little bit more, me like, kind of messing around. And what I saw was that just from this... Oh, my phone's gonna slip. Just from this this disc spinner motor spinning the disc around, or yeah, just being faulty, um, it burnt out the the DVD diode for for the laser. Then I was like, oh my god, that's the first ever home console laser I've ever replaced. First ever one, first ever time as well. In these other home consoles, I've never re I've never actually replaced any of the parts. Um, maybe like one or two parts, maybe that was just because of plastic, but, but, but no internal issue parts, you know? So, it's mostly just PS2 which I have an issue with, I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's my messing around or anything, but yeah. 
So the la so the DVD diode on the laser burnt out, and it was like just like a PSP laser. You know, you know when you press the little button on the PSP laser, and then you can see the laser going up, the lens going up and down with the um, the little laser trying to see. And then when you when you let when you let when you let go of the switch, the lens goes back to its original position, and you can kind of see the the laser fading out, the light of the laser fading out, fading out, basically. Uh, that's what this PS2 laser did. I know for a fact, even if it's a slim console, for a home console, laser doesn't normally do that. Then I was like, okay, let's let's try, let's try again. Let's see if um, DVD ROM works again. Put in a DVD ROM disc, and it does what it does when there's no disc in it. it just the laser kind of clicks up and down, doing the DVD. Um, it does a CD diode first, and then then it turns on the DVD diode. And if it doesn't see anything, it just stops. Then it does did exactly that. There was no game. It thought there was no game. There was clearly a game in there. I put in a DVD ROM game. Can't remember what game it was. Then I, what what I do next? Um. Then I was then I was very angry and everything. I just yeah, just messed with the um, just playing around with the console itself a little bit. I just put a little bit of lubrication on the the two was the laser sits on, and um, because obviously this model obviously the laser s physically sits on two rods. That's that's like a normal console, right? Um, the thing I hate about Sony is that what is it called? When they make the newer models here, the um, the other side of the laser not sitting on on a rod, just to be more efficient with with their money and their material they're using. Uh, the other side is actually um, the other track is the just just a piece of metal, which I don't think is good. I'd say just put it on the rod then. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that one actually, but. They used only one rod and then worm game motor and then the laser obviously and then the other side was metal. They kind of did the same thing with the PSP where they basically got the motor, they, they they got the laser and the the other side of the laser is just sitting on a piece of plastic, and there's obviously no rod. I think the only rod for the laser is just the worm gear that's sitting on. And yeah, but obviously, um. Yeah, it's all it's all about loading speeds and everything. If you want to improve your loading speed, obviously go for something with a new new model console. Take off, kind of un kind of unscrew the little screw that's kind of helping the laser move around and stuff. And right? and there we go. So yeah, um, another problem a lot of people had with these. The r only reason why Sony changed to having no motherboard on this one, or having ha just half motherboard on this one, and no motherboard behind the disc drive was because people were obviously complaining. Because of this, just move the laser there a little bit now. Hold on. So yeah, basically the complaint was that with like that, when the when the laser's halfway through reading, reading the game like that, it kind of scratches the disc. The little the ribbon cable scratches the disc. That is a very big issue. I don't I don't like the issue either. It's basically something like this. Yeah. Clearly see it now. It may not look like that on camera, but if you look kind of like from a view. You kind of see it. Basically, my uh, since you know with a shitty ri ribbon cable getting in the way, it scratched my CD-ROM game, and I can't play my CD-ROM game anymore because of, because of that shitty ri ribbon cable. But however, if I play the same game on a PS2 Fat, because that's kind of, that ribbon cable is a lot more shorter, or if I or if I play that same game on here, it wouldn't do it because Sony knew that you know with less motherboard and stuff. They they kind of smart back then, not not so smart, but you know, if I just move the laser back to its reset position, so it just where it does when the console goes. Doo, dee, doo, dee. Anyway, doo, 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 doo. that's literally what the laser did when I put it in the DVD ROM disc when it couldn't see anything. Anyway, yeah, so um, you know, I just kind of mess around with the little arm and stuff on there. Yeah, so I I wait for my new laser and then my lose. Then, then my new laser comes. Then my, I mean my replacement laser. Uh, I st the original laser is in the packaging. Still is in the packaging. I just what I do is I I take the original thing. Uh, when I take out the replacement thing, put in put back in the original thing, into the into the packaging. Yeah. So right now in the packaging is the original laser. Um, untouched. Uh, obviously, because I, I haven't really opened the packaging or anything, just checking it. I could check it out right now, which I actually might do. It's been sitting there for quite long, so let's just do it anyway. 
shit balls. So I'll show you guys the the okay. The, you guys, the first thing you might you might see is that why the hell is the the laser? Why the hell is the laser? Um, why why is the why is why is one of the um things broken? I'll show you now. So obviously the packaging was this. I have to take it out the packaging. It's gonna be in this type of radio protection package. Just because I got so the laser is about this is the, this is the size of the laser right there. And I could obviously take it out of the packaging and show you guys. Hold on, put the phone down. Take it out of the packaging. And then I see this. Well, I, I, I don't see this, but you you guys are obviously going to see this. It's not going to push, is it? Alright, guys. You guys may see... Pa pa packaging just smells like new anyway. You guys may just say, "Why the hell is this?" Now this is this is the original laser. Now the original la the original laser looks nice, yeah. Looks like nothing's wrong with it. But next thing you might notice is why the hell is this part dangling? Well, let, me, let me get it in shot. You you may see that why is why is this? You yeah you could clearly you clearly see it now. Why is why is this little part dangling? Well, um, what happened was when I was putting it in the, in the packaging, the laser fell right on this bit, and this bit the glue came off. So this is what the diode actually looks like. Look at that diode! Hold on a minute. Let me just zoom it in. So then it all clear. Hold on a minute. Let me show you guys. That is what the diode looks like. Look at that. So that's the DVD diode. Looks looks very nice. Very nice indeed. I wonder I wonder how these things actually work. You can see the kind of like the glue thing came off. So um, whenever I have free time, I could probably um, rather put nail glue on there. Something something like this. Yeah, needs the nail glue on there. Um, otherwise I use hot glue. So I know hot hot glue is gonna be a little too much because this this glue is only a little bit, not much glue. You can clearly see though. I could just go replacing these two diodes. CD diode um sits somewhere in this part of the whole thing. So if I this the laser, and obviously that's that's that that's the focal lens. But under this lens is a under lens, and that's that's what's called an under lens. Now if we go to look here, see that on the edge somewhere. I think there's a thing inside of the laser. Yeah, there we go. I found it. I found it. So you can see where these four points are of solder. That is where the CD diode is. Yeah, I figured it out. So the CD diode is right there. That's basically the diode that that reads CDs. So that that was that was nice to see. Um, you you guys may see this kind of residue of glue or something. That's just because what's it called? Um, I think my ribbon cable kind of it was was it was pretty shit. Shitty ass ribbon cable. Then we have the potentiometers, so we could just adjust the potentiometer screw things. So that that's pretty nice. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, this this laser, it all, even though it's in good condition, I don't want to. I really don't want to. Um, I really don't want to. What's it called? Smash it or anything? Because what's it called? It's a very nice looking laser, guys. Oh come on! I got a notification, and I I, I was I scrolled on on a, on a notification instead. Let me zoom out, please. I might disable no notifications during stream. But yeah, here we are. So here is the laser. Very, very nice looking laser. Um, This is the original laser, so I am going to keep it. But I might sell it. I don't know. I might include it with the disk drive. It's obviously, when I get the, re when I get the replacement disk drive, because that comes with an extra laser anyway. Um, When I get the replacement, I'm just going <laughs> to maybe sell this, maybe take a few ch pictures. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah. If this laser is anyway a replacement, how I know it's not, is because if you look at the solder joints here, they're not, they don't like, they, like, like they've been tampered with or anything. So the solder joints for this one is right, uh, right next to the, not right next to the DVD diode, or shall I say, right, right next to the other rod. Make sure not to touch this thing, because this laser, 
I remember in the past I've cleaned it so many times. It's nice and sparkly clean. So you can clearly see now. So where this other rod sits, basically, um, we got the solder connections there. And just for safety reasons, um, that's basically what some people do with with the replacements. They got the they get the solder. They get the solder in, iron, and they basically put a, put a drop of solder on there, and that's and that's called anti-static solder. That's what basically happened here. Hold on a minute, I might be I might be wrong. Maybe this this was tampered with a little bit. Maybe this is a replacement laser. I just don't know it. Look at that. Kind of put the light light a little bit more. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. Please stop auto focusing. But guys, look at that crab. Yeah, it looks like maybe, yes, it was tampered with a little bit. I don't, okay, I, I wasn't meant to say tampered, but I mean, what's it called? I mean, um, this might, this might, this might be a re, another, re, another replacement laser. And if it so is, then maybe I might sell it. Because I like keeping the original thing, not, not the replacement. Because the thing is with the replacement, they don't read discs that good. Yeah, you can clearly see now. Clearly, see, it shouldn't really look like that. Maybe this might be an original laser. I probably just don't know. But it does say in the barcode. Oh, look at that! It clearly, says in the barcode as well. SPU, the same thing. Same model number, guys. Look at this. SPU, guys. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what model. Um, I know it's going to be the same SPU model, but I want to know. What model? Um, try get this straight now. That's pointing. That's looking at my PS2 games. Where is? There it is. So for that PS2 there, that I actually did an um, unpacking and 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 review video on this PS2 on my main channel. If you want to check it out, go check it out because it's very good. If I zoom out somehow, there we are. Put the phone down because I'm gonna put it back in the packaging. Oh yeah, before I um, end it here, I'm just gonna show you the packaging because the packaging looks nice. Look at that. Oh wait, I think I know why now. I think I know why they they have this. Um, I think I know why they put solid drops on there and why it allows them. Maybe it's because this over here says, "Look at that." Static sensitive devices, not to be handled. Authorized personal YX. Don't know what that means. Yeah, let's put my laser back inside. Uh, one day when I might take this laser part again, my DVD diode hopefully is back in place. So then it looks nice, and then somebody could actually I don't know, smash it up or something, or maybe even re re replace the whole um diodes in here. Cause this laser with the focuser and everything, it looks very nice. Just hoping it's not replacement. Um, but yeah. And uh, we got this little screw thing here. Oops. Anyway, we got we got the little screw thing here. If we look at the screw thing, you can see not a security torque. It might be a security torque. Yeah, it is. Um, it's not a Phillips or a another type of one. But yeah, that's the laser for the PS2 uh, um, slim launch model. Oh shit. <laughs> anyway, um, you can clearly see the. PS2 Slim with a bit of Chinese, which basically makes me know that <laughs> every single re every single replacement laser is Chinese laser. <laughs> anyway, I want to know about the original laser. Was the original laser Japanese or was that same thing Chinese? Yeah, I don't know these things, man. Um, yeah, because um, thing is, it if it's um Chinese replacement, um, it's, it's not gonna last that long. 
Trust me, guys. Anyway, I want to know, um, how do you even make a DVD diode to even work again? Did somebody make a video on YouTube or something? Okay, hopefully I can put this back in the package now. The diode is very cold. Okay, I'm just going to look off camera, um, closely to this little diode here, because this diode is very nice looking. Or this DVD thingy. Yeah, you can, de you can, by the looks of it, yes, you can desolder this. Looks very nice. Obviously, it's burnt out now, but I want to know exactly how this thing works. Wow. I just can't believe I dropped it. And now it's giving me this issue. So, originally, it would look like this. Hold on. Originally, it would look like something like this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to have to just glue it back together. So then it looks nice, because right now it doesn't look that good. So, you know what, I might do that right now. Give me a few seconds, I might try to find, not hot glue, because I, I have a hot glue gun. I'm going to go try and find nail glue. Actually, hmm, really I'm thinking now. Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to get some um, nail glue, because I know that works good as super glue. Basically, it's the same thing as super glue, but just a little more stronger. I just want some nice glue that would hold the um, thing nice. Obviously, I could probably clean the diode first and then put it on, just in case. But yeah, um, that's that's how things work. Now, obviously, I can't replace the diode because it's due to soldering stuff. And when it comes to soldering, I'm not. I don't really do soldering. If I had the ability to, I would one day. I don't think I could legally do it right now. So yeah, whenever I can, whenever I can, guys. Whenever I could handle it well, whenever I could do all of it good well. Definitely love to solder. Show you guys me soldering one of my videos, maybe on my gaming channel or on any of my channels. I'll just like to show you guys me soldering or me learning to solder. Let's just say, because my only soldering iron right now my, and my only heat gun, my only soldering iron is the hot glue gun, the the tip of the hot glue, hot glue gun, because that thing gets incredibly hot. That, that that thing can melt plastic and do stuff like that. Probably even burn paper. I don't know. <laughs> and um, my heat gun. Is my hairdryer that I use for my PS3 fat to fix. That's the only thing I use my hairdryer for, guys. Anyway, though, I'll be right back, guys. Oh, oh shit. I've been crouched for so long. Oh, God, man, my legs literally hurt. Let's um, close this app on the PS4. Close application, YouTube. Okay. Let's just go, no, let's just, yeah, let's turn the controller off so I can save some battery, don't always burn with wasting battery. Right, I'm going to go find some nail glue, I'll be right back, so just um, stay, stay there guys.
good. He's making them now. Alright guys, so I may have taken long, but I'm back. Um, so, I think this is the stuff I used last time for the ribbon cable. I'm just going to use this stuff for um, the for the laser diode to put it, just glue it back on. So I'm going to use this stuff. Um, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't wear these nails, guys. <laughs> my my sister actually uses this stuff. Um, but yeah, just going to be using this. Uh, just the glue for this, not not the nails for it. So, so the glue looks like this. It's got a little bit of glue left, so just going to, maybe not on stream, but maybe uh, just off camera. Maybe on camera, I don't know. But. Basically, guys, um, this this white part um, won't screw off. I'll even show you guys. Not screwing off. So, maybe it's the other way? Maybe that's not meant to screw off. Oh, wait. Ah. Ah. God. That's not good. Okay, I, I've just noted something, guys. This, you see, you see this stuff here? You see this stuff? Hold on, man. Let me zoom in. You see? Do you do you see this stuff here, guys? This stuff here is actually part of the packaging. So, don't know who the hell opened this thing last. I know for a fact that I never did this, but look at this. This is actually packaging. Why did you zoom in that much? You just zoom it in that much, anyways. This is actually all this packaging. Is it satisfying to you guys? So satisfying. Holy crap! Why? Please focus. Come on. Don't mess with me now. Look at this, guys. See? Packaging. So, this is actually part of packaging. Um, I just noticed it, guys. So. This is not coming off. Hold on a minute. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we could just peel it off. Nice and satisfying. And I'll show you guys now. Look, it's holding this white piece on. Whoa! Do, do you guys hear that? ASMR. Hold on, how did I do this? Anyway. There we are. Now we can just... There we go. Look at this, guys. That was the that was on this bit. Now maybe I could probably unscrew it. Oh, it's still stuck. Oh oh oh! I oh, know that's 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 the other part. Wait, does it not screw on? What the hell? Maybe it's operate like this. I have no guys. I have, I have no idea, guys. Let me just put this part on. How do I take this part off? It's like it's, it's on there. I might need pliers or something, guys. Anyways, whatever, guys. I'm just gonna do it like this. So where's a tissue? Let's just let's just get a tissue. Not not baby wipes. Let's just get regular tissue because I just want to clean the diode, guys. So I'm just gonna go clean the diode and I'll be right back. Let me zoom the camera out. All right, guys. I'll just be right back. So, I'm back and I got a little tissue here. So this is I know I know I know that all this stuff is off camera, but let's put it in camera just a little bit. Then you guys can see a little bit more. Just go up to diode. Let me just clean the diode here. So the DVD diode, not not the CD diode. You can see the laser is now hanging. Yeah, because I'm holding it by the DVD um, diode thing. So it's off camera. Let's just clean it. So. 
it's not good. It's not gonna be the best of lighting because plus this glue is also in the way, so very hard to clean. Let me just do this now, guys. Gonna have to use the phone's light here because this is the only light I've got going here. Probably saying why not my room light? Well, I just didn't really think about it. And uh, yeah, cold start up it doesn't really get so bright. Warm start up it does get pretty bright. So I have to wait until cold to warm start. Yeah, I've cleaned the diary thing a little bit. Um, ohms do matter as well. So if you if you have your thing that a little bit ohms, then maybe imagine if I could re if I could repair a diary that's not working. <laughs> Right, that's probably enough for me cleaning it. I can't, don't want to do with the baby wipe just in case that might da damage the diode. Just want to do it, yeah, just like this. So now we can put the diode together. Let's not let's not talk that much because um, yeah. Okay, so let's just put this on. You you can you can see the the uh, DVD o um diode operation hole there. It's not really much big. Yeah, you, you can see there. It's not it's not that big. So you need to just angle it just well so you could see the other stuff on the disc. That's what it originally would have looked like, so let's let's get our um super glue or nail glue should I say, because it is nail glue. Let's put a bit of nail glue on the edge of the dry glue. So we could so we could kind of get that wet again. Basically, just a activate it. Basically, that's all we need to do here. If we activate the glue. Maybe it might work again. Maybe I don't know though. I'm not really a professional at this, at this stuff. Anyways, let's just put a little bit of dry glue at the end of it. I really can't tell if I did or not because I'm doing this in the dark. It's very hard to keep still with this laser. Please don't fuck up. That should be good. Then we can just output it like that here. And just put it on our laser. Now hold on, I can't do this so well guys. Hold on, let me put this on this back and we just kind of in there we can just kind of like that just hold it tight it, do, it doesn't matter if the glue got anywhere else the main spot is obviously this just hold it tight against when it's um yeah all good so the only reason I'm doing this right now is because I just got out the packaging just then and I, I want to put it back and never never did Never touch it ever again, guys. Okay, now it should be good. Oh, ah, oh, come on, it was holding. It was holding. I think something like this, maybe. I don't know how it would it originally look like. Maybe it was something like oh what? Oh shit. Something like that maybe? I think it was like that. Hold on, man, I'm kinda of stuck here. Alright. Just kind of holding it together right now, guys. Just holding this uh, laser right here. It's very hard to keep together, guys. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Don't want to hold them together well. You would just, wait. Just over there. Move that remote and all that. Okay. <sighs> you gonna sleep early by chance? Why did you Why did you mix it? You know, mix all done. No, you you just you just mixed it. It's with all the in there when it's hot. Lie. Anyways, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Just need to wait a bit, you know. I don't know how long. Just need to wait a few minutes. For some reason, this glue isn't just holding well as much. It's not really meant for this stuff, guys, but I do it anyway, because why not? Oh, 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 oh. It's like I need my hands holding it together. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to do the best. Come on, don't, don't fuck up now. Don't fuck up. Don't. Don't fuck up, but don't fuck up, don't, don't, don't fuck up. I'm just gonna hold it tight, guys. Because I want this, just want this DVD thing good. <sighs> Hopefully this glue st actually is still working. Maybe just gonna blow it a little bit. Basically, I think blowing the glue like that probably help it work a little bit faster. All this glue is just got to do is just hold it. That's all it's got to do. It's not got any hard tasks. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting the uh, diode, the diode laser back on the thing. I guess in the meantime, while it's cooling, or while it's while it's drying, I'll just hold it tightly with one hand. I can still feel it kind of... Wait, doesn't the other piece... Ah, oh, I didn't glue the other piece. God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it, man. I didn't glue the other piece. I need to glue the other piece as well, because... Um, I need to do this quick, guys. Glue the thing on the diode now. Don't fuck around, come on. <sighs> Still not enough glue on there. just need like a bubble of glue just holding that together and what I mean by a bubble I mean like um, a uh, kind of a drop from it but okay, now it should be holding good okay but put this thing back on and now I see it go oh yeah it's holding I was holding man it was holding was holding, it was holding.
Oh, oh, oh. Almost. Look at that, guys. This is literally what. Oh, come on. I just want this to go well. Okay, I'm not sure I'm going to eat my food while it's doing this. Oh, fuck, what did I just break? Oh no. <laughs> I just want something to hold as well. There's some tension of the little cable there. It's not the best. Let's just put the laser down. Let's see if I could do this now. I'm uh... Oh shit, it was holding. Why does food come at the wrong time? Now the now the other piece of glue is getting loose. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. This laser is very annoying, guys. Especially to fix. I just um, don't want that piece of glue to reach the diode. Otherwise, the whole thing won't work. Even though, yes, it may seem useless, the whole thing just may not work. Almost like soldering guys, but a little bit different. Just working with glue here. Maybe somehow I could um work it out to um put it down like that and then just fuck's sake man, I'm wasting my time. My food's getting cold, guys. Same thing will happen last time. Don't move.
I'll show you guys in a minute. My food's getting very cold now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that feels so good. You must have been my Blu-ray drive. Well, basically, I just I launched the game that was um that was suspended in the background. Anyways, though. So, guys, this is what it would originally look like. Now. Now that the glue is actually working, look at this. And this is what it would originally look like. Yeah, the diode would be like on the side of the laser. And if you don't believe me, please focus. And and if you don't believe me, um, even look up a um, a video or something with this laser model or even look on the web the laser literally look exactly like this so once this is completely glued in I'll put it in the packet and um, we will be all good good to go then let's just put it on this box here just checking the um, thing Oh god.
Oh. <sighs> anyway. Um. Uh, guys, also, if you're going to plan to, um, the same problem happened to you, then, um, with, with, with your laser, then do not use hot glue, because that's just going to fill the, um, gap with, with the diode's going to see through. And, <coughs> even if it's half covering it, or covering it just a tiny bit, it's still not good for the diode, because it's not going to fully see the lens, or see the disc. Do, do the lens and the mirrors and stuff, <coughs> and stuff. And um, yeah, I mean, if you don't really have a glue gun or anything, then pe uh, people are just obviously going to buy replacements. Replacements are basically the same exact same same exact thing. They may have changed up the diode or or, or the colors of the mirrors or something. You know, like the little tint of the mirrors. They must have ch changed that. That's really it. The thing reads the same anyway. Anyway, um, I do recommend the original laser because the original laser reads very very quick. And um, she won't mean it lasts that long. Actually, the reads the reading is very, very good. It's got fast read speed and fast ROM. Very, very good stuff to see, guys. Um, but yeah, that's that's the things I've noticed with my DVD drives. Is that it does that. But yeah, guys. Um, crazy stuff. This food is so nice, guys. Mm. Oh yeah. How many hours am I into the stream? Because I know I'm going to be for just one hour. Almost two hours. We're not that far from two hours. But this is at the time I spend in the streams and everything. Um. Also, who's that person that just unsubscribed from my channel? Because I don't... I've, I've been, um... I've been like, okay, why are you guys unsubscribing? Are you guys getting spam no spam notifications from me? Because if, if, if that so is... I'm just trying to see if it's all going good on YouTube, you know? Because sometimes YouTube itself could be faulty and just say... Yeah, this is, uh, this is an upcoming event, even though this is a stream. Not, on, not an upcoming event. You know, and that's that. That's very stupid. Cause I clearly, I clearly press start one that starts immediately, and that means, as soon as I press, go live. Instantly on YouTube, it should make me go live, but it's not doing that because the app is. I don't know if it's the app or the YouTube or something, or if it's the, just the server that faulty. And they and and they and they need to get new hard drives. <coughs> oh shit! Hmm. Anyways, um, this food is so good. Amazing. See, guys, it was so tasty. I finished the whole thing. Anyways, um, the reason I can't show you the full shot of it is because it's yeah, it's not the space isn't big enough. But yeah, the whole plate's finished. <coughs> oh, anyways, <laughs> um. Right. Hold on a minute, guys. <laughs> Sorry you guys had to hear me um, blow my nose, but... 
I want to breathe quietly and nicely. Anyway, um, hold on. So it's so tasty that I just licked the spoon afterwards too. Amazing stuff, guys, literally. Right, guys, I'm going to put this downstairs. Hopefully you do enjoy. <laughs> you guys may not see it, but yeah. Be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Just gonna wait for this whole thing to literally dry. So I'm going to wait for this whole glue to dry properly and um, then I could put it back in the packaging. In the meantime I could just put this like that maybe. Just like that. Put this glue back. Okay guys, look, I'm going to put it back in the packet. It was on the top. There we go. Just like that. I'm just put this back inside. Oh shit. I put it down so much that it came out, it came out the other end of the packet. The hell? That wasn't meant to happen. I'm gonna pack this up now. Okay, there we go. Packed in again. I'm gonna just put this back then. I don't really want pizza now.
No, they won't. If did you? I'll probably just, I'll probably just clean it up. Okay, guys, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with a little bit more food. So yeah. Oh god, that's cold. I mean, that tastes cold. Because it is cold. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck did that go? Now I'm starting to see some on the floor. Shit. That guy is clean now. Anyway. Um. Hmm. Oh, let me stand up. I just want to turn the light on. Okay, I see like what? Two on the floor, that's fine. That's fine. And I need two, two, two pieces of the food anyway, but.
Sorry guys, it was taking me so long. Oh my god, we needed to two hours. Two hours, oh, almost three hours. Okay guys, so, as you guys can see here, I just came back, and sorry I took so long. Um, just doing stuff in the other room. <laughs> um, so this is what this is meant to look like here. Um, yeah, so, before this thing drops up, basically this laser dropped, when this laser dropped, this laser landed on its side it landed on exactly on the DVD diode that's why you saw the DVD diode was just dangling now you guys see that the DVD diode is back in its place yeah because let me let me show you in, in better detail there we go okay it should be good now hold on a minute oh oh yeah oh come on autofocus okay just because I'm shaking doesn't doesn't have to mean Camera has to go out of focus. Please focus. Oh god, I really need to piss. I'm really gonna go for a piss. <laughs> Come on, camera. Would that stay? Ho hopefully that would. It literally looks like a DSLR just just from an iPhone. Holy crap! Okay, so we got our thing here. We got our laser. We got the DVD diode. And the DVD diode is in. Yeah, so it's not dangling anymore. Please focus. There we go. Look at this. Focus. Look at that. It's in, bro. I, I don't. I don't. I don't even have to hold the DV diode anymore. Very good stuff. Very good stuff. Now if we look from the light of this phone, it should be shining back into the diode of the DVD. Hopefully it should. Yes, it is shining into the back of the... Basically what I'm doing, I'm getting the light from that phone into the lens of this laser. And all I'm doing is I'm shining it into into the laser without having to focus the laser. And I, and I can see that shining the light come back into the diode. Diode is a uh, goat glowing there then. What if I zoom the camera out? You guys, all you guys could see this. Yeah, so the camera should be zoomed out now. Okay. Forget the diode here, yeah, the laser. If I just shine it in somewhere. Guys, look, it's glowing. The, the DVD part's glowing. I'm gonna try and make it glow bright, bright again, nice and bright. Come on, God, I know it's, it's it's very hard to achieve here. There we go, guys. Do, do, do you guys see that? The diode is literally glowing. Zoom the phone in a little bit. Look at that, guys. Focus. Focus phone, come on. <laughs> Look at that. See if I if I move the laser a little bit, it's just gonna do that. But hey, at least I know where um oh, the diode is glowing now. Yeah, j just for the right amount of light to come inside. Please focus. You see now that diode is um the laser's glowing very very nice and bright here. Please focus. I can't I can't stay in this position, please just focus. So I, this is why autofocus literally sucks, man. 
It's all about the level of light that's coming into the camera. That's literally the key of fo auto trying to make your camera autofocus. It's all about the light coming into the camera. Should know that it's out of focus. Oh, yes. Look at that. Anyway. So yeah, uh, if you're wondering, how was my phone on, how was my flash on for that long? Because I had my battery at a full charge. Now, the battery charge is going low just by the flash having to be on all the time. If I put the brightness up, <laughs> you guys can clearly see that the battery, as a charge of the battery, come on. So yeah, that is the charge of the battery. The phone is also, to save a little bit more battery, it's been in aeroplane mode, yeah? So, yeah, the phone has basically been in aeroplane mode all the time. And, um, it's got nothing running in the background as well. So, look. Nothing running in the background. Completely nothing running. And you can clearly tell I'm on iOS 9 because how how would it be stuck like that, you know? If I, also, if I double tap this. Oh, shit, the phone's going to fall. Shit. There we go. Yeah, so that's, that's really that. I don't know how my PS4 was on for half an hour. I thought it, I thought it would be at least be in rest mode now. But anyways, let's go ahead and put the brightness down because that will generate more heat and waste more battery. So let's yeah, but always put the, your brightness to zero when your flash is on. Because the thing is, the flash is already doing heat. It's already generating some heat. I, I can already feel like right next right next to the camera here is a little bit warm, and um. If you put your uh, screen brightness to 100, that's, that's going to generate even more heat. You do not want to do that. So, yeah, luckily this phone is running a nice little heat sink, um, heat sink casing. It's not actually a heat sink, it's just um, part of the casing. Basically what I do is I... So, because the camera is on this side of my phone, I basically put the phone, you know, just rest the other side on the screen of this phone, or just on top of this phone. Then it looks like... I just kind of bounce it out a little bit, and then it looks like I've got a very good lighting. So that's basically this. Um, as you can see also, you know when the laser, when how the PS2 knows which position, the uh, which way the laser was at, it's got, it's got this little micro switch here. Let's just zoom the phone in a little bit, so then... <laughs> yeah, this, is, this should autofocus it anyway, because it's got light going in. Don't autofocus my hand, autofocus on this. Come on. Phone, come on. Almost. There we go. So this 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 little mic switch switch here basically, when the laser goes, basically what happens is, when the laser hits the um end of the first part, it basically just when it goes, it basically goes like this. Without the switch, without this micro switch, the the motor is just it's just it's just gonna be and it's not it's not gonna know where the laser's at. Light on drive is similar to this. It doesn't have a little micro switch, but um, I like what they did here. I like what I like what they did with the laser here. Um but yeah, look at that. It's got a nice big laser lens. I'm not sure if it's the same lens type as on the other PS2, but I know for a fact that this laser lens here it's a little, let's just say a tiny bit bigger, I don't know. But yeah, it's got a little bit more strength to it, which is good. I'm not saying the other one's weaker, it's just yeah. Um I've actually looked at the 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 replacement laser lens actually has, I, I, I can actually feel it vibrate a little bit more. It's crazy. You know, just that coil. And yes, these things use um, coils and magnets just just like a speaker or even a microphone. Because microphones basically work the same as a speaker. But instead of um, making sound, they hear my sound. Something like this. And that's what, that's what microphones are for. And obviously if you blow it, why the blowing makes that sound... It's because <laughs> you blew a little bit of dust off the shelf, not the um, shelf, the cabinet. Um, the reason it doesn't sound is because I'm making 
I'm making the uh, speaker thing move. I'm making it move just by just by blowing into it. Or doing this. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I can't do it right now. I can't hear it. But yeah, basically, it's moving. It's moving the little diaphragm thing. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what the laser is. Oh yeah. I mean, I think you use one and a half hertz to kind of make make the lens go down. You know, I think it just uses. Two hertz to make the lens go up and down, or maybe just one hertz. I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the laser in full focus. Now it's out of focus. Now it's in full focus. But I like how this um, thing here is like that. So I mean, you can keep the laser to you know for it to look like to look nice, but the laser doesn't read. It can't read anymore. Uh, the CE diode I don't think works anyways anymore. The DVD diode definitely doesn't work. I can tell you that now. The DVD diode, that's the main diode, guys. That's meant to work, but it doesn't work anymore. So, yeah. But anyway, these are little potentiometers there. Oh, fuck's sake. Here we are, the little potentiometers there. I don't don't know if I fucked around with it in the past, but I definitely... think I think when I bought it, it was already like that. So yeah, um, that's the potentiometers. Now there's obviously one for the CD and the DVD. Obviously, I know which one's the CD and which one's the DVD. This one here, this one on the left here says in the little motherboard there it says C, and C is for CD, and then D on the on the other on the other hand here is for DVD. Yeah, so uh, whichever ones, whichever ones. But this one for some reason. What's it called? Whenever I um, actually, what's 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 behind this casing? Because I want to know if there's any mirrors I could clean. Oh, if, if 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 there is any mirrors behind this, maybe I could clean it. I might look right now, but probably not, because the CD diode is um. Oh, how am I gonna get past the CD diode? You see, that's I think that's Sony's glue there on the CD diode here. If you look, guys. Come on, focus. There we go. That's that's that, that's the little um, glue that you see the sh the, sh the shiny stuff there. Focus. Yeah, you see the little shiny stuff right, right, right on there, guys. Like right there, right on the plastic. That is Sony's glue <laughs> that they use. Oh, that's different. That's different metal casing. Oh, I thought it was the same one. Yeah. Strange. I think going to this part of the motherboard here might be could be the DVD. I think yeah, it's okay. This part here is the CD. Yeah, how do I know? Because four connections, and if it shows four, it's CD. Uh, not sure what the other two are for. I think that's just for power. Oh right, okay. Oh, that makes sense. So um, you can see the little two solder joints there. Those those tiny two ones there, not 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 these four ones. These two ones at the at the top of there, those lead to this part, and that's why this part. Okay, that makes so much sense. What about the DVD part? I want to know where that goes because this is this is all leading to CD. I want to see the DVD part of this stuff. <laughs> Cause um yeah, I'm more of a DVD guy, guys. Um. Obviously the motherboard screwed in stuff. So with this, I think what happens is, this switch, this switch hits this. Maybe this triggers something. Because I can see what they did here. My, well, if my phone's gonna focus the camera, come on, auto focus. Yeah, see, look, guys. If I just if I just reflect a little bit of light onto it, it makes it auto focus. Now this should stay locked in focus because I don't want to keep auto auto focusing out of focus and in focus. Because I want to show you guys in close up detail. What if I zoom in a little bit more? Oh shit, my phone's gonna fall again. Okay, what's it called? Oh, I, I can zoom even more. Better. All right, guys. So so you guys see this this part right here, where the switch is. There we go. Okay. Basically. This, this leads to here, then this part, basically, just goes 
right here. Yeah? Just like that. Basically this switch here. Basically if you press it the motor's obviously gonna think it's um over there, but obviously it's not. Cause I I did I kinda messed around with it a little bit. Basically what I did was um so I made the motor, the worm gear motor I think the laser was kind of somewhere it was it was right next to the um disc motor. Even though it was it was somewhere near the disc motor, let's just say. Uh and then it basically uh I think I let go of the switch or something, or something like, like that. Obviously it stayed in that position, but then when I let when I let go of the disk drive switch itself to trigger the the, the, the laser and stuff, um yeah, basically the laser um yeah kind of kind of hit the, the little side there and went you know. Oh I think it would kind of <laughs> I think I would kind of take a but yeah. Uh so yeah. That's basically gonna be that. Um it's twelve o'clock and did we make it in three hours? Yes we did. So um pretty much my time to sleep right now, so yeah. Cause I've got fucking school tomorrow and it's so goddamn annoying because what's it called? Break time is so break time and lunch time is so boring. And um yeah. See the thing is I just want um just wanna probably have another another week off, because what's it called? Um Oh shit. Didn't even didn't even notice myself. I was I was just holding this bit. The glue's so strong. I was just holding this I was just holding the edge of this on there and I just noticed. Did I damage the glue or anything? Put it back. Good, I didn't damage any glue. Which is good. Good good to see. Yeah. Nasty DVD diode. But yeah, let me just see if it's shining back one more time. God, that diode is, is really glowing there. Wow. <laughs> Pretty sure that also re reflects back into the CD diode. Let's take a look at that. Now, if it shines into the DVD diode, it should shine back in the CD diode. Oh, okay, I guess so. Maybe a, li a little bit of the lens is kind of exposed through just by this tiny, tiny gap here. You guys see this gap there? In between the CD diode and the cable. Just with that little gap there, um, I could see the uh, the lens thing. Hold on, if I shine this into this like this, I might be able to see the light. Probably. Oh, I see something. Guys, I legit see something. Like if I take if I take the phone, I don't know if I'm zoomed in, let me zoom out if I am. Look at this guys. There we go. Do you guys do you guys do you guys see the light inside inside of the laser? Look at that. Oh it's gonna be very hard to zoom my phone in. Let me zoom it in like this. Zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on. I don't want to scratch up the camera. There we are, guys. Look at that. What if I zoom in just a little bit more? It's pressing stuff now on my phone. There we go. Okay. Oh, come on, don't 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 be out of focus. There we are. Where is it? It's so hard to find on the phone because I'm zoomed in. I think I found it. Here we are. Please focus. 
Oh, this is so fucking hard. Yes, you guys can see it. Oh. There we are, guys. You can see the lens. <laughs> that was basically that. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna zoom the phone out so you guys can see stuff. Grab the laser. So this is basically a very nice looking laser. I like it. And uh, one more test I might need to do with it. Hold on. Shine it back through the DVD diode. I want to know if this works. I haven't really tried it. Might work actually. I, I can see the lasers and um, DVD diode still. Fucking hell. Wow. Crazy. I can, I can see the laser literally shining the DVD diode. Not even joking, but this time it's not shining red, it's shining um the shiny colour it is on the DVD. Let me just show you guys. Let, let me just show you all this. If I put the flash like this, so it looks like that. Then if I just this is the laser, yeah. Ah, hold on. If I just get the laser and do this, look at this guys. Crazy. Oh my god. You guys can clearly see the laser there. It's just shining away. Oh my god, it's so bright. It's shining right into the phone's camera. It's like so bright, guys. <laughs> I wonder if I can rest the laser in this type of position. Please say I can. <gasps> Yes. How how bright is this thing shining? What? It's just like a CD. Look at this, guys. This thing is just like a goddamn CD. Look at this. Look at that lens there. Cause that, that because that thing right there is shining into it. Wow! Look at this. Like if I go right there, it's so bright that look at that it's shining right into the camera as well. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Wow! And if I put my um, finger close to it, you, you can see it looks like a, a light of a CD. Look at this, guys. So where's my thumb? There it is. Okay guys, if I show you, kinda zoom out a little bit. Look at this guys. Oh shit! No 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 oh. Where is it? Oh no. Am I ah oh. Hold on. Oh good. Oh good, good, good. Good thing I never landed on the DVD thing again, because that would be so hard to put back together. Get this thing. I hate when it falls like that. Is the DVD thing okay? Still holding good? Okay, good. Still holding good. That's good, 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 good. Okay. Okay. Um... Might need to put the phone somewhere else so the laser could have a nice soft landing than having a hard landing. Don't want to touch the lens because that's not recommended. Otherwise, the laser won't read again. So, panic. I uh, just put the uh, little thing there. How bright would this thing go? Because I know where the diode is, man. Could rest it on a little bit of tissue, but I don't know. I just recommend it like this. Oh! Actually, yeah, that's staying on like that. I'll do that then. Ah, shit. If I put this on, what if I, if I put it on this way? Would it work? Come on. Oh, please. Shit, this laser almost just rolled off. Wow, 
Uh. Okay, so this thing, wait, so you're saying this can, this thing can hold on the side? No, it can't. <laughs> because of the other weight and stuff of it. But yeah, I like how it's, um, all oh, glowing nice. I like how it does that stuff. Oh yes, this, it is holding fine now. But it's not much light coming through the uh, lens there. I kind of put it a little bit more. Oh yeah. Just like that guys, just like that. I don't know if you could see it. So it must be very hard to see. This thing is going to focus on it. Oh, it is in focus. I'm just so blinded by the light man, it's just so bright. If I zoom it in, maybe I'll get a better view. Oh, just zoom in. There we go. Sometimes it just thinks I'm trying to scroll on the chat. No, I'm not. I might, I might turn, I might turn chats off, but then I can't read any. Cause this thing is so goddamn annoying. Sometimes, you know. Look at that, guys. Right. I'm gonna show you. Look at this. It's gonna be shining into your screen, guys. Look at this. It's so goddamn bright. Where is it? Where is it? It's just gonna be shining into the camera. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Good stuff, guys. <laughs> that's that's crazy how it's um that that right. Where where am I? Here we are. It's very hard to see, guys. Cause what's it called? Just look at that light, man. Look at this. Also, I show you guys. Let me zoom it out. I'll show you guys what's it called. You can clearly see there's some light coming through. You kind of see it. But look, it's, 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 it's visible on camera. There's actually some light coming through it. So yeah, that's that. That's going to be the laser. I don't want to keep it there for long because um, <laughs> it just has the little collision there. But yeah. So yeah, that's that. That's basically the laser. Um, let's put the phone um, back to pointing at the bottom again so you guys can see everything. But my god, though. It must be very late right now, then. <laughs> Time just goes so fast, doesn't it? Not gonna lie, it really does go fast. Be honest, guys. <laughs> Time does go fast. You know, my teachers may say, oh yeah. Some of them may, may say, oh yeah. Um, time, time doesn't really go that fast. Oh my god, trust me. Time, literally for me, speeds up, man. Honestly, it's so speedy. Okay, guys. So this this thing this thing looks like you have to peel it off, but no, you you don't have to peel it off anymore because what they did was they they c cut it off and they put the laser inside of it. So yeah, now that this thing is nicely repaired, it looks nice as well. I don't know if this thing is ever gonna work again, but obviously not. But if somebody can get it to work, oh my god, how did you do that, man? Okay, uh, gonna have to put the laser facing this way. Clean the lens if I want again, but maybe not. Uh, might, I guess. Why not clean it? Um, I don't clean lenses. Okay, not good tissue. Um, I might not clean lenses the same way you guys I think I do. All I do is I do this. Get my... I, I don't have a, a new tissue right now with me. But I get my tissue and I just rub it on the lens. Yeah, now the lens... Whatever. Um... I can't find any of the tissue I could use right now. Just running. I'm running out of tissues, guys. Trust me. I'm running out of tissues. But yeah, I'll just get my piece of whatever it is, basically tissue, and just rub it on the laser lens, yeah? Now, I don't force the lens directly to the under lens. Now, this laser's gone blurry. But yeah, I mean. This laser lens is quite delicate. Um, 
What about if I get my blanket? Because I know my blanket's pretty good for cleaning stuff. It's just like a cloth. It's just used for sleeping. So I get the my blanket here. Must have made it worse, but okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get a little tissue because this is what it needs. It doesn't need anything like a blanket because a blanket's not gonna make it look good. <laughs> Could get used tissue. Basically, what it is is used tissue. It's very hard to see, um, tell if it's um. Yeah, I really can't tell if it's used that good or not. Just so blinded by the light early on. If this part is good, I'll use this part, but I don't know. What, what does the phone see? Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay. Then what we get, what, what we do is... You get the, the, this part here, just rub it against the laser lens. Trust me, you literally, if you guys do this too, you also clean your lens. Um, pe some people may say, oh yeah, this is not good for the laser lens. <sighs> but well, this is, if this is all you have, guys, then yeah. It's, it's, so, it's so completely okay for the laser lens. The laser lens still looks the same. However, if you do it like this, it will be even better, guys. Look at this. If I zoom the camera in, I show you guys. This is basically how I clean my PS2 lasers. Obviously, you don't want any um, scratchy part of the tissue because that, that's that's going to scratch up the lens. And you guys don't want that because otherwise it's going to damage the lens's um, performance. But all you want to do is this now yeah your lens may not look the best it's not always about looking at it it's about how it performs oh that actually made it a little bit more shinier let's go Good. The lens is a, l a little bit more shiny now. Like that. Nice and shiny. <laughs> anyway. That's going to be that. Going to get the packaging. I'm going to just package up the laser. Can also zoom the camera out. So yeah, guys. Uh, this is the most weakest part of this laser. Has to be the DVD part there. Uh, otherwise, the other weakest part is the lens. But it's not so weak. Because the lens is just glass, right? The lens is just a lens, you know? But anyways, let's go ahead and put this laser back inside. This is the part, this is the thing that reads your discs. If this is not working, you're going to have lots of problems. Or, if this is working, but you're like, okay, why isn't my discs, re why am I, why am I, why isn't the system playing the game? Well, basically what's going on, the system's having a hard time trying to launch the game. Maybe it's because of region, something to do with region, or something to do with, um, something to do with, um, what's it called? Read issues. Now, obviously, if you're having read issues, replace your laser. Uh, one thing people don't say, or, mo or some people don't say when they're replacing stuff, you see, you see the little solder blob on, like, the, on, like, the top? Right right there like right there for me it's right there for on a different ps2 lasers like on the side somewhere if you see a look if you see a shiny solder blob make sure to get your soldering iron and, and just remove it because that's how that's how you will um that's how you will uh what's it called make the laser work and make make the laser actually turn on the uh laser diodes and make the la make the laser basically wheeze so yeah that's basically how you do it any anyone's questioning me out there somewhere so yeah oh god laser packaging man what is this stuff laser packaging that's why they call it laser packaging okay 
See the laser in the pocket? Don't be too harsh with um. Don't go don't go too too hard on this uh d the DVD bit because I just glue I just took my time to glue it all back together. Then all you want to do is just oh I forgot about this part the bendy part. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. Um, then we, then when we do we we can at this point we can't touch the lens because it's in the pack anyway. It's not it's not like it's outside the pack is it? See the little DVD thingy in there? Yeah. Let me zoom in on that. See, it's pretty, pretty, pretty blurry. So yeah. Um, if you're if you're PS3, uh, basically, if it if if the thing's not completely like a mirror on the front, then. Your PS3, if it's if it's about this shiny, like it's not, like you don't you don't see your you you can't see your reflections. Make sure it's not fingerprints, okay? Make sure to rub them off with um, alcohol wipe or something, or like or like a baby wipe, like like me. Um, but I do recommend baby wipes any for anything. Doesn't doesn't hurt, bro. Use it for anything. This is the packaging the thing came in as well. Where is it? There it is. Let me just. So then I see, so then I can see on the phone where I'm doing all this, but from what I'm doing all this, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't really open this thing up correctly, because, uh, what's it called, I think this is, this is, this is, this thing was meant to, like, open up like that, but I thought it was one of those things where you open it from here and here and take this part out, but no, I was wrong, so, yeah, <laughs> You need to be very careful here. Um, what if I bend? No, I can't bend anything. What if I put this thing in upside down, something like that? Just don't want to damage the DVD reader because um, DVD reader. I don't want to. Da oh, that's that. That's not that. Okay, that that's fine. If as long as it's on the on the other side, that's fine. Come on, you can go in the laser. Yes. That's how they would have packaged it. Packaged it. Obviously what they would have done originally, how they originally would have packaged this thing, is they would have, um, they, they would have obviously had this like that. They obviously would have, um, had it open from the top like, like this. Like, something like a box, yeah? Not not like a little packet like like this or like a little pack packaging mini box. I don't know what what they're called. Uh, this thing was also originally meant to be um on. This thing was also meant to be on. Here, so if I put, put this back like that. Obviously, you can kind of see it's a little bit tilted because there's something underneath it, some piece of plastic or something. <laughs> But anyways, that 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 was a very long live stream on just a laser. Uh, a disc drive is probably not gonna be so long because that's just that's that that's basically the whole part of the thing. If your PS2 does not have a disc drive, Sony Sony never made any PS2 digital editions. They've only made ones. They've every PS2 they've ever made always had a disc drive in it. Uh, not sure if there was any models I don't know about that had no disc drive, but yeah, that's all I know. Um, obviously, I know Sony. And obviously, if, I guess if it was Xbox, they would have changed things up a little bit. But yeah, Sony does this stuff, you know. Uh, if you guys want to know how to run Freemac Boot on the PS2 Slim, well, it's it's, it's very easy. All you have to do is uh, you just gotta you gotta get a Freemac Boot memory card, and you you need to get a USB hard drive, yeah, just like how I did here, a USB hard drive. Now you could probably run Freemac Boot off another USB stick, then install it to the memory card. But I just say buy a memory card with Freemac Boot. They're very very cheap, and just put the memory card inside, put the hard drive in the USB port, and then the hard drive has to be has to have rather an adapter, like a little say a to USB adapter or something like like that, or even if it's something like IDE, then I I'd say use use the little dock. They're not so expensive, yeah. Or you can use like a little plug, you know, and then plug it in. 
yeah, it depends on how you use. If you're using something hard drive like like this, like it's pretty, it's it's a thin ass hard drive. Um, if it's an SSD, then definitely it's a SATA 2.5 inch hard drive. And if it's regular hard drive, but it's still very slim, then it is a 2.5 inch hard drive. <laughs> you can get ones thicker, which they can they can store more stuff in them. They more they have more space anyway. Uh, they're a little bit more better. They they people use them for desktop on the on the actual PC there. Uh, those hard drives are three point five inch. They could be SATA or IDE. So yeah, yeah. So now I know how to get the software on there. I don't think you have to have PS2 software on the hard drive. I don't know. Uh, I think only if it detects free McBoot, then yes. But obviously, if there's no free McBoot on the thing, then yeah, not really gonna work. But yeah, free boot. All I need to do is I just need to get empty USB stick, put it into there. Get one of my memory cards. Uh, needs to be an empty memory cards. I think I've got one somewhere. I don't know where yet, but yeah. Um, and then from the USB stick, I I don't know what it's gonna do, but the hard drive or something is just gonna transfer the data to the memory card. And then on that memory card, I need to get a sticker or something, or remember to get a sticker and write free or F. MCB free McBoot, yeah. FMCB <laughs> basically short for free McBoot. Um, yeah, and then I'm all good to go. I could do I could do the little U launch elf or something, something like, like that, or or open PS2 loader, or I think it's for sure it's called OPL, but yeah, I mean. Or oh, should sh should be called OPS two L, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, for sure, pe pe people just call it OPL. Anyways, let's drink some water now, shall we? So, open the water. <sighs> hey guys, this water tastes like the food I was just eating. <laughs> um, I just noticed something. Um, I mean, I just I haven't noticed something. What's it called? Yeah, this 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 water really does taste like that food I was just eating, not not just then, but like hours ago, like an hour or two hours ago, I think it was. Um, yeah. When I'm in school, imagine if I could go live in school. If I that's if I could connect to the Wi-Fi, I need to know the password first. Then once I know the password or keep it in my brain, then I could probably go live from there. You know, just when I'm bored, because I'm always bored. I'm always bored at break and lunch. So why not why not go live? It's so easy. Why not? Why not go live? Even though if I do go live, my my phone is gonna go very hot and eventually it's gonna die. So, I did have a power bank, but the power bank uh, is faulty. Doesn't charge for long. It only charges for. It does like three charge pulses for like five seconds. How do I know this? Well, I put I put a direct motor into it, and um, yeah, the motor went woo woo woo. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's how I know, um, that the thing does not that much charge now, because the other brain is, um, basically dead, basically all fried, um, for, you know, j just because me being stupid over there, but yeah, um, basically what I did was I tried to charge a one point, I think it was a 1.5, must have been 1.5 or something like that, it was somewhere below, I think it was 7.5, I think, it must have been somewhere below or over, um, Five volts, but yeah, somewhere below over one point five. I don't know. Um, I need to check again. But yeah, um, if if it is seven point five, I think I could use it with PS two. PS two uses eight point five. Was it only this PS two that uses eight point five, and the other one uses seven? No, both of them uses eight point five. Which PS two was it that used seven point five? Or was the, was the none? Anyways, if the if the thing is eight point five or even seven point five, then yeah, definitely wanna um use it with my PS two because why not? <laughs> yeah, so I wonder how much charge is gonna um hold before the thing basically dies. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's that really. Uh, I've got nothing else to show around here. The worst than yes I would. Uh yeah, if you guys did enjoy today's video, live stream should we say, uh you know what to do. I've gotta sleep early because yeah, I've got places to go and stuff to do tomorrow, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna be live. 
until 15, 16 o'clock. That's like 3, 4 o'clock. As, as soon as I come back, I might be very sleepy. I might not be sleepy. I don't know. It all depends. So, if you did enjoy today's live stream, you know exactly what to do. I've said all. I always say. I've always said it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Uh, I really wanted to just screen capture, but it will come out as an upcoming event. Yeah. So, I will just. What's it called? <laughs> Uh, let me just see something. Let me see if I could enable screen capturing. That would be very nice if I could. Uh, where is the screen capture? Wait, am I, am I still alive? Oh yes, I am still alive. Let me just uh, screen capture something. Then I've got a screen capture. Hello. So, for some reason, I'm still alive. Strange. I thought I, w I wouldn't be live anymore. It's actually continuing the live stream. <laughs> there I am. Still alive, let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go, okay, so, for some reason I'm still live on here, I just went in screen capture mode and it wasn't really doing much, so, yeah, it always times out on, on screen capture, I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's like whenever I stream my screen, it always just stops, like after a few seconds or even, even a minute. But anyways, what's it called? Um, yeah, so that's really that. I'm gonna um, just chill out, watch some YouTube, maybe for just just for a little bit. It's almost gonna be one o'clock, but yeah, um, gonna just um, chill and stuff for a little bit. And whenever I'm playing or playing games or something from the internet or something, this light over here um, always starts to blink. Which means, uh, wait, hold on, let me just get better lighting, because I know... Oh shit. I was like, what the fuck was that? Was that a toilet flushing, or was, or was that a dinosaur, or was that was that a lion roar? I think it was just somebody doing movie night over there. But anyway, um, you can see where my shadow is pointing there, so whenever, whenever, so whenever I'm doing stuff, Oh, yeah, let's just see. Yeah. Whenever it's this light over here, that's indicating a TV symbol. TV means computer or like, yeah, PC, basically. Let's just kind of zoom it in a little bit. Okay, so right here, 
right there. So right there is basically where this light blinks. So I'll show you guys now. I'll show you guys the blinking when I press the home button. Where's my controller? There it is. I'll show you guys the home. Well, I'll show you guys when I'm press the home button. And I'll just probably launch the EA maybe. Then I'm gonna launch YouTube again. Do you want to suspend uh, the game? Yes, I do. Please focus. Focus, iPhone. There we are. And I don't know if it was blinking there, but wait. What if I just? I'm just gonna mute the live stream audio because I do. I don't want to get um copyright. Copyrighted. So. I'm just gonna just yeah, just gonna mute the audio of the live stream. So yeah. Alright, not sure if you guys saw that, but I was just playing a little video there. Hopefully that was muted, because if that wasn't muted, oh shit. Um, yeah, that was basically that. Um, if you did enjoy, you know exactly what to do. I'm just going to probably close YouTube now. If I close YouTube, you guys could see the internet bit now. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, which, which application? YouTube? Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, it wasn't doing anything there. Let's go back on GEA. Oh, yeah, it's doing something. You, you guys can see it blinking there now. It's very, very clear. Holy shit. Crazy. Okay. Now, what will happen now if, if I put my PS4 in rest mode? Well, I was just going to disconnect. If I turn the PS4 off, your th that light there, that um, the PC light, is not going to be on anymore. It's just going to be internet and Wi-Fi. So that's basically that. Let's go play some GEA. Just moving around the camera here. Let's walk my camera. Let's w walk my ca character around. <sighs> okay. Right. So gonna disconnect my controller now. Right, so yeah, um, that's basically that. That's basically what it does. Uh, just think of it as the internet. The internet here comes from the Wi-Fi to the PS4, and then the PS4 goes out back. So PS4, the, uh, what it's doing here, the internet chip inside the PS4. I think it's I think it's a little internet chip. I don't know. In the in the PS4, that basically receives all the information coming from the Wi-Fi. Then Obviously, when I want to play something or do 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 something like a ROM or something, and it uh, and it requires the internet, then it basically what it does it, it PS4 chip the internet chip asks for the internet. That that's how they two communicate. So this, these two are basically communicate. Wi-Fi, the wireless Wi-Fi is not doing anything. That's just for the phone. But it's only these two here. So this is the PS4 and this is the internet. So they both communicate together like that. And that's obviously power, yeah? The power one's always going to be on. That one, I think that's just restart or reset. I don't know what that does. Probably, I think, yeah, that actually res re resets the whole thing. So this is power, this is reset, this is Wi-Fi, this is internet, and this is a PC. Like this. Just in case you're using a LAN cable, which I am right here. This is the this is the um, Ethernet cable that's coming from the Wi-Fi. This is the LAN cable that's going directly into, used to be going into the Xbox, but now it's going into the PS4. And I'll even show you guys. You guys see that cable going straight in to the PlayStation 4, the back of it. 
Now, uh, this Xbox doesn't really support wireless Wi-Fi because this is not the model to, uh, yeah, support wireless Wi-Fi. So yeah, that's basically that. If you want wireless Wi-Fi, go for something like a 360 Slim. Those are the best with Wi-Fi. Well, they're not the best with Wi-Fi, let's just say. But but yeah, this. this, this let's just throw this tissue in the bin, shall we? <laughs> Like, this tissue, when I'm watching stream playback, is going to be in the stream and stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, this tissue used, used to be something, but now it's all squished up into garbage. <laughs> and burnt and shit, you know? I wonder how they um, recycle tissues. I really do wonder, how do how the fuck do they recycle tissues? Let me know in the comments, I'm not really sure. They probably use, like, or I know they use machines or something, but how do they, do they do it? Do, do they handpick it? Or, like, all the rubbish? Like all the junk, should we say? Look how much water is left in this thing, by the way. Look at this shit. Not much water left in this thing. But anyway, I could probably just show you guys from here. All the water, if I open the lid now, is just gonna drop out. So obvious why, but yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and, uh. Yeah. So, um, I'm just gonna. End the live stream because it's almost gonna be four hours in the live stream. I don't, I don't make it anymore. So, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I could make it into four hours. I don't know, <laughs> but my record right now is three hours. Um, yeah, normally I, I do live stream for about two hours and then I stop. No, actually, no. My record is two hours. Let's just say, um, never, it's never been four hours. But yeah, like forty-five minutes more make it four hours. But I don't really want to do that. Uh. Normally I just have them going for around one hour and then I stop. Um, yeah. <laughs> Even if my, if my live stream is only there for like a few seconds, it's probably just because probably having a little bit of trouble there, but yeah. Getting the um, live to pop up on YouTube. But yeah, that's really that. Um, now, what else do we talk about? I have no clue. Uh, I could live stream on the PS4 if you really want me to, but... I, you guys can't see my home screen. Man. I wanted something like a screen capture, so if I um, if I ever press the home button accidentally or something, you guys could see me do it, you know. And I've seen people do that. I've is, I've seen people probably not on live stream, but on a video, they've used like a little capture card. So obviously the capture card they plug into the PC, then they up then they upload the video. But yeah, um, I always have a PC and a PS4 lying around, cause. Still, some stuff from PS4 do require PCs, guys. You know, such as a USB stick. You know, if the USB stick doesn't have the the thing the PS4 is saying, but it's still, it's still, still like, still lets you go into the USB stick. Obviously, yeah. At least the PS4 warns you. You know, um, but yeah, some consoles here do require stuff from PC. Like sometimes these consoles here would actually require work from a PC. So what I mean is. It's mostly just just USB, but like, if it's something like a hard drive, then obviously they um do that from uh the PCs inside them. Um, the PC basically you browse the internet and stuff, and you get the software and stuff on the hard drive. That's basically it. Everything else is done from the console. So yeah, um, that's basically that. If you did enjoy, hopefully no no spider take over my controller this time, because last time there were, there was a controller. This was ages ago. We're talking like 2019, you know, 2019 I think it was, um, 2019, 2020, I'm not sure, but was it 2019 or last year, there was a, there was that, that grey controller, you, you, you see that grey controller there, there was a spider that took over it, and that, that little spider, I don't know if the trace is still there or not, oh yeah, it is still there, what the hell, the trace is still there, basically what I did was the spider um, kind of went on here and then went on this part here, so went on this part, um, you can see, you can still kind of see the trace there, that white stuff on, on the top there. And uh, basically, what, what happened was I got my snot, <laughs> got the tissue, and um, got like a little bottle and just kind of yeah put it spider in it. And then yeah, and the tissue was stuck with the snot up there for about about a month, two two three months. And then a few months later, I checked back, pulled the tissue off, and the spider was just stuck in there. It was dead, guys. So it's like a squished spider right there, and uh, basically yeah, the thing the thing after then like that is just threw it in the bin. But yeah, the trace is actually still there. Look at that, guys! You can still see the trace. 
like you can still see the residue and shit from the um from my snot. <laughs> crazy, crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, then after that, I basically cleaned the controller with the spider web and stuff on it. And um, I just used that controller with this PS2. I used to use that controller with this PS2. Then I, I played a game that never supported that controller. Well, the game never told me. It just would, the controller wouldn't work. So while I was like, maybe it's because I'm using a, a DualShock One. Let's 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 try using a DualShock Two. So I used. If you're wondering what DualShock Two I'm using, I'm using the same DualShock Two that came with this PS2, the Launch PS2 Slim. So I'm using the Launch PS2 Slim's DualShock Two to work with this DualShock, with this um, PS2. DualShock 1 doesn't have any, it's not pressure sensitive because it's the first ever controller of PlayStation. First ever revision of the joystick ones. Um, and on there, the black one there, is pressure sensitive, which is very good. Because then that means you could actually do stuff in your game. It's very nice to see. <coughs> Some games, just most games, don't really detect the PS1 controller. Some of them, they don't really say anything. I, I guess, yeah. The ones that don't really support it, they, they don't say anything, but yeah. Or they probably just say controller not connected or something. But anyway, um, obviously I'm using that controller with this PS2 because this is all I, what I really have lying around. I could use the other Black DualShock 2 which I got with my, which I originally had with my other PS2, but... Uh, yeah, if I had another another a DualShock 2 or even a Black P du DualShock 2, then yes, I'd use it. Um, so, what now? Well, um, there's actually DualShock 2 downstairs I could use, but it's not exactly the same shape, which I hate. Um, and you're probably wondering, this DualShock 2, this, this DualShock 2 came with this PS2 Fat. This is the only PS2 Fat I've got laying around here. I do not have any other PS2 Fat, guys. I've only got, this is the only PS2 Fat I've got. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. Why not? The PS2 Fat may not look like the launch one, because it is not the launch one. I was trying to look for something new. Uh... But the PS2 Slim is definitely the launch one, yeah. You know, launch console by the original Fat Console. Looks nice. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's that. If you guys did enjoy, oh yes, I made it to four hours, okay. If you did enjoy, you know what to do, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I might put this controller on there, because that's what I really did with the PS2 Fat. Just put the controller on top of the console, so the controller's out of the way of shit. It looks nice as well. So the controller's out of the way of shit, and... Um, I can actually get past here to do something here. So yeah, I like how I did that. Um, I need to clean under there too, because, yeah. You know, I can't always be cleaning, guys. <laughs> Gotta be doing other stuff. You know? But anyway, uh, if you did enjoy today's live stream, I might launch one tomorrow, or maybe not. Depends, so stay tuned, because I might launch one tomorrow, or I might not. So yeah, stay tuned, you know? Like on and subscribe. If you see a live, if you see a live stream from me, obviously make 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 sure to click on it. If it says anything, it doesn't have to say the thing I'm planning to do it, but it can say anything. It says so something like soldering or something it needs to be from my channel, guys. And yeah, so click on it whenever you have the time. Yeah, like on and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, bye bye. Bye. I made it four hours into the stream, and it's almost gonna be one o'clock. So gotta be right. Gotta just just be right there. So yeah. Bye bye, guys.